All right, hello everyone on the second channel. Sorry, it's a bit quiet there. Everything looks good. Um, we'll see how the stream goes today. I was I had some fun last uh, stream. You know it's fun when I'm when I'm streaming longer than normal. But uh, actually, let's post this on social media. But yeah, I guess what we're going to talk about today, pretty much anything. I'm not really bothered to be honest. I, I was just going to type in like chill stream, but let's let's make it a topic, I guess. Um, sorry, just reading something on my phone. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll talk about the topic. Talk about my video from yesterday. Talk about anti W stuff in general. People like it, um, me covering it for sure. But like for me personally, sorry, my TV is on. I thought I turned it off like more ones. Give me a sec. There we go. The TV is off. But um, yeah, we're going to talk about that stuff today. We'll see what people think of the video yesterday and. Maybe get into some other stuff. Um, some other stuff I've been wanted to talk about lately, but haven't really had the chance. Um, <laughs> Hi, Spooky Kitty. Uh, Cav, the anti SJW slide. Someone actually made a really good. Um, this right here was. <laughs> someone actually made a really good um, meme of me being the anti SJW slayer. All right, so if I. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a good. Oh, that's weird. Does it change? Okay, there we go. That's better. Um, Chief is saying anti SJWs and new SJWs, yep, yeah, for sure. <laughs> if SJWs either, you know, ever existed in the first place, always have been, Spooky Kitty saying, yeah, exactly. Um, let's make a poll. I've never done a poll before. Let's do a little poll. Oh. Uh, Anti SJWs, the new <laughs> SJWs. What do people think? You keeping the typo? How I destroyed their fans' waves up. What's the typo? Have I destroyed? Oh, destoried. <laughs> Have I destoried the SJWs? I have destoried them. Oh, man, I got a massive headache. Does anyone get this? Um, when they sweat loads, not on sweating right now, but I played football today, it's really hot. And then I feel all right afterwards, and then I get a massive headache in the evening. It's usually when I play football and sweat a lot. I think it might be something to do with sugar levels or something. I didn't actually eat much today before I played, so maybe um, that is what happened or something. Um, I called them the status quo warriors. I have called them that before for sure. Um, Hey man, love your videos. Thanks for the effort. Thank you, Screw Tape. Appreciate it. Um, so I didn't throw for the sake of argument. I pretend. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but um, yeah, talking about the the video yesterday. Also, okay. Here, okay. Here's what I want to start off with something actually, because um, this is this is one one particular point that people were saying in my video uh, that they didn't like. So I made the point that. There is a stereotype about 
Asian corporations essentially being like an arm of the state that they're from that isn't applied to US corporations. Um, so this used to happen with Japanese corporations in the 80s. I say it happened to China. And then people are like, yeah, well, China, blah, blah, blah. And like the, th the thing is, I've, I've talked about this a lot. So you, you have to be in the Communist Party um, in China to pretty much get into these top business positions. I think even like lower level ones, right? So that that's like a fact. Um, but then like the when when Tencent buys something, it's always like, oh, Tencent have bought something. Um, the Chinese state, they're taking over. But when Disney literally buy another property and are furthering their monopoly, like Disney have massive shares in like ESPN, ABC. They own the biggest, they basically own all the, you know, the biggest successes at the box office every year. And now they have a massive streaming service. Disney have all that stuff. And people are like, oh, Tencent, like the shady Chinese. And, and I, I see so many liberals talk about this. I was watching a podcast, which I like, um, Easy Allies podcast. And even they started saying stuff about this. And I'm like, why? Okay, I don't like corporations and stuff, but I know they like exist to make money. And although like different countries have different relationships with them, you can't think, especially publicly traded companies, they are all just working for the goal of the Chinese state. Because I've said this before, Xi Jinping doesn't even doesn't like tech billionaires, right? It's tolerated, but it's it's it he doesn't like like them. And then that's just something I don't know, I get a bit uncomfortable with it. It's like why why are Chinese corporations so different or held to a different standard than American corporations? And let's and people are like, oh but Chinese corporations help the Chinese government spy. And it's like, okay, um do you not remember Edward Snowden exposed all these phone companies for turning over your, like all your phone data to the state and stuff and allow them to wiretap your phones? Um, Kavanagh is good. <laughs> Thanks, Maximus. Um, Shang-Chi is destroying uh, anti SJW so hard it's funny. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Red Man saying, uh, need more food and water can help prevent a migraine. Sugar nothing else can bring one on. Yeah, I don't normally get a migraine from, from them, even though I do get migraines. Um, but I do get a massive headache from them. Um, anyway, the, the Chinese stuff annoys me. I, I want to talk about um, the stupid stuff I've been seeing on Twitter. I think it was from, like, a Vosh debate. Uh, anyway, people were just talking about, like, uh, what colonial... What happens when oppressed people rise up and overthrow their oppressors and then the power dynamic shifts and stuff? So I might want to talk about that stuff as well. Uh, what are my thoughts on Nerd Rotic? I don't really I don't really know like a lot of these people that people ask me to cover. Like I'm I only know a lot of these people because people ask me to make videos on them, but I don't really I'm not aware of them. I actually don't remember how I became aware of geeks and gamers specifically compared to other people as well. Hello, Irish Resistance. Hi, uh, Jesus. Thanks for joining. Or Jesus, whatever you prefer. <laughs> um. <laughs> Kevin saying, your tweet on Blue's Clues and Mr. Rogers and the Matrix. Um, yeah, to be honest, I, I, I was making people very mad and it's actually making me crack up so bad. So basically, um, okay, I... Uh, this is this is this is in part bait from me, but at the same time I kind of mean it. Um, all right, where's my tweet about it? Um, <laughs> so basically, I said uh, again. Okay, no, that's my that's my follow up tweet. Basically, I said yesterday. Basically, I was just shitting all over stuff that I know people like, and I don't like these things. But I was doing it to get a reaction, basically. Um, all right. So what did I say? <laughs> I said, um, because you see, you see, you see that clip of the Blues Clues guy, and in by the way, in the UK, there is a different Blues Clues guy. Um, so there was a Blues Clues guy was talking about, like, I don't even know what the fuck he was saying, but I watched the video, I forgot now. Anyway, I just said, the Blues Clues guy and Mr. Rogers, people, Americans need to realize no one outside the US cares about. <laughs> And this got people like so fucking mad. I was getting quote tweeted like um so much hate. People doing like the weird British thing. Even the, this is about, I've, I spoke about this like last week. I don't understand the British government, and I tweeted that about them. Um, 
okay, it 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 was um it was bait because I know people like these people, but why I get annoyed is okay. If you guys are not American, the the non-Americans in the chat, you guys can back me up. When um Americans, okay, there's two levels to this. Um, the internet is obviously dominated by Americans, right? That's just the fact. The most users on, I think, uh, Reddit are Americans. Um, I'm not sure about Twitter because I know there are like loads and loads of Indians who use Twitter as well. So maybe not Twitter, but it does feel America-oriented, like the whole thing. And of course, most of these companies are American anyway. But it feels like um, I know who Mr. Rogers and Bob Ross are and the Blues Clues guy, just through, like, Twitter osmosis. Like, I don't want to know who these people are. I don't care who these people are. But I feel like I'm just, like, absorbing who they are. And because I always see stuff about Mr. Rogers, like, oh, he was too pure for this world, I just f think it's funny to, like, <laughs> to shit on him. Just because I know I can get a reaction out of people. But my main point of being, about being mad is that Americans just assume everyone like knows the same shit as them and cares about the same shit as them. And I was talking to my girlfriend about this because she works for an American company. Most of her colleagues are American. And we found the same thing. Americans, when you talk to Americans, I'm not talking about you guys. I'm just talking about Americans I've met in my, my, my personal life. Americans seem to assume you know everything about their life in the sense that they will mention stuff to you which is like a obscure american town or just something to do with being american like you're supposed to know what that is and, and i and i don't pick them up on it when i've spoke to them especially at uni but i'm just like yeah like if you're not american you don't know what that thing is or you don't know what you're talking about um on the flip side i do find it funny i i, I met a girl from utah once and she thought I was literally from Utah because I knew about Mitt Romney, Mormonism, um, and Salt Lake City FC, which is the team from Utah um, or something, like from Salt Lake City. And she thought I was from Utah. I'm like, yeah, I'm not from Utah. I just like American, I like American politics and history. Um, but yeah, that's why I was memeing about um, Mr. Rogers. But yeah, people were not taken kindly to it. <laughs> they they were really um really getting mad. And also I said like um if you like Black Panther and Joker, the movie, um you should feel bad. At, um because those are bad movies and that got another reaction. And and he, here's what I don't understand, right? Um people get so defensive for really odd things. Like um Ste Stephanie Sterling was tweet was tweeting she didn't she didn't give a shit or they didn't give a shit about the Blues Clues stuff as well and they had to delete their tweets because they're getting so much harassment. Why do Americans get so defensive about Mister Rogers or the Blues Clues guy or Black Panther or the Joker? Why why is there such like if I just say something is really really shit like <laughs> it's just it's just such easy bait to like get people mad. No, Ke Kevin. Me, me, and me and Elliot have been following each other for ages. Like, um, he tweets me like a fair bit, but that's I think that's where all the hate came from, because they saw his tweet and loads of people who don't follow me were all tweeting at me about it. Um. What makes one an anti-SJW? All right, so uh, I'll, I'll talk about this for a bit. In my, in my opinion, SJWs don't exist, and SJWs have never existed, because what an SJW is to these people is like this super broad coalition of various liberal left elements to the point where everyone, essentially, who's not a conservative is an SJW, so, um, in my mind, originally what an SJW might have meant is like a performative liberal feminist or something like that. Like um, someone who's like a big simp for Hillary Clinton or some shit like that. Um, or Ruth Bader Ginsburg, like that type of crap. 
Um, but now it just means everyone. Like, I'm an SJW, apparently. Uh, I'm someone who gets outraged about everything. Like, um, give me more diversity in Marvel or I'm going to go hysterical or something. But I'm I'm not an S, you know I'm not an SJW but I'd be I'd be called one because I believed even if this term meant something it doesn't mean anything now just like with woke these guys think movies are woke for not starring white men like that doesn't make a movie woke like Black Panther is the most woke thing ever because it's you know about black people or something or Shang Chi is a woke film because it's about Asians and Chinese people so it's like um. In my mind, SJWs have never existed, and uh, maybe it's like kind of spawned out of this like feminist, anti-feminist reactionary YouTube content. Um, yeah, but the anti-SJWs, what? Why I use it as a term? Because it's just such a grift. It's like you can call them it because their whole identity is based on this fan, like I said before, fan fiction of reality where they construct narratives about the wokes or the sjw's like the whole the whole stuff about about john favreau versus kathleen kennedy i i called that out ages ago it was the most ridiculous crap ever and then i said john favreau has been around hollywood for like over 20 years kathleen kennedy has worked in hollywood for like over 30 years these people are probably friends. Like, they probably get on, or they at least have known about each other for years. They're not waging a secret war at Lucasfilm between each other. And then, of course, John Favreau comes out and says how much he like, likes and respects her. Like, I assumed he would. And, and that just shattered their whole ridiculous narrative. But they have to construct these things because it's clickbait. And they always, you know, that bounding into comics thing, which is a source they always quote, is essentially an anti SJW YouTube channel, but it's just typed up, and that's literally it. <laughs> Mike saying he had no connection to the Blues Clues stuff. <laughs> I didn't have a connection. I just found it. I just found it annoying. I just, I just, yeah. I, I'm an anti. I don't know. I'm anti wholesome. I'm too cynical to enjoy something like that. Um, Blake, thanks so much for the $5. Really appreciate that, man. Um, I believe TikTok is getting more reactionary, seeing a lot of US military vids and far-right conspiracy theories could be a vid idea for the future. Yeah, Blake, TikTok is pretty wild. I've seen so much cringe US Army TikToks, though. It was like um, some guys, like, I've seen all these challenges, um about blah 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 why don't we do in one challenge it's like stay silent f for the troops or something the 13 troops who died in afghanistan um <laughs> americans get defensive about brands as well yeah, but the thing is, I, like, tentatively, like, broadly don't mind Marvel movies. Like, um, I'll watch them, and I think the TV shows have been pretty good, apart from Falcon the Winter Soldier, like, WandaVision and Loki have been good. But at the same time, it seems like Americans, so many Americans really construct their identity around these things. <laughs> I, do, I think we just want to enjoy things without someone dumping on our fun. <laughs> I mean, that's fair enough, but I'm still going to do it because it makes it more funny to me. Uh, because why Joker made me cringe was because... um. He, okay, he, he, here's my problem with Joker, right? Um, So J Joker is basically a rip-off of... Um, What's uh, the Martin Scorsese comedian film? Uh, the King of Com Okay, Joker is essentially a ripoff of The King of Comedy, Taxi Driver, and You Were Never Really Here, which also stars Joaquin Phoenix. It's basically a ripoff of all of those films. And because lots of people who don't watch superhero movies, this may be like a movie snob, don't actually watch like good, normal movies, then they see something like Joker, which is like copying actually good movies, and they're like, oh my god, that is the best thing I've ever seen. It's like superhero but it's serious and and edgy and stuff but if you've seen like movies you're like well this is just a bad version of something i've seen already with a superhero skin 
And like it is, it is weird how similar it is to um. Sorry, what's that Wacky Phoenix movie I just saw? I just done total blank on it. You were never really here, which is a better movie than the Joker anyway. And it's just mad to me, like, and I think that's that's the crux of the issue. Like, the good thing about the MCU and superhero movies is I think it's gotten a lot more people interested in, in movies. Movies are already massive, but just, like, the crazy numbers for Marvel films, even compared to Star Wars films, which they're way better than Star Wars films these days, it, I just think has gotten a lot of people really invested in cinema, which is a good thing, but the... You know, the other side of that is that they're conditioned to, like, um, all this stuff. Um, Uh, Atheist Mando. Uh, I don't understand. Okay, I don't understand what you're saying, and I also don't believe you're actually giving me a hundred dollars. If you really think about it, the reactionists on YouTube, such as Mauler, Rags, and the Star Wars Girl, all have a modernist view on what art should be, objectively measured. As someone who followed this narrative with art, lead me to becoming a fat. So, Atheist Mando, are you saying you're a fascist? I don't understand it. I'm also, I would say thank you for the hundred dollars, but I don't actually think you're actually giving me a hundred dollars. I think you're just going to cancel that straight away. Um, but yeah, I don't understand what you're saying. Give me a second. Anyway, um, I was saying that the Marvel movies were good for that stuff, but then I think a lot of people who watch superhero movies just don't know what a good film is. <laughs> Um, basically. But, um, the, the, and the thing is I also said before is that, um, with, like, uh, superhero stuff, um, I, I feel like with Marvel especially, it started off really, like, really different and good, like, um, with, like, Iron Man. Like, when I first saw Iron Man, I was like, oh, this is so different from any superhero movie I've seen before. Like, Tony Stark is such a different character, and he's, he's like, quite a cool character and stuff. And then, um... But then, slowly, it just becomes, like, so... I guess, one thing. Like, if you look at, like, Black Widow, and, um... You know, more stuff like that, in terms of Falcon the Winter Soldier, it just all looks very similar, and it feels very similar. Okay... Uh, okay, Atheist Mando, um, thanks so much for the donation then. Sorry, okay, can I can I tell you why I had such a weird reaction to, to what you did? Um, he's not a fan, okay. Atheist Mando, super appreciate the donation then. Um, why I had such a weird reaction is basically, uh, yesterday I got copyright striked on my neo-Nazi furry video. And um, it's, made me, it's made me like really on edge in terms of like looking out for Nazi stuff. So basically it got copyrighted for something, and I don't know what, and I could not find this guy's YouTube account. And basically, did some digging, he apparently was one of the leaders of furry neo-Nazis like four years ago, right? Um, and what I think he was trying to do is that if you dispute, um, if you dispute a claim on YouTube, a copyright strike, it gives them all your information, and you don't have to actually get um, their information. Which is completely fucked up, but what it, what these guys do is they're doing it to dox you. So they're striking your video to dox you later by getting your personal info. So when I see you donated the hundred, and I haven't actually seen your name before on the channel, and um, it said it led me to becoming a fascist, and I was like, is is this a, is this a fascist just trolling me by donating a large amount so I read it out, and then he's just gonna like I don't know. So that may get pranked. So sorry about that. Uh, soup. Super, super nice of you uh, to donate that much money. Like, very, very kind. I don't even know why you did it. <laughs> I don't even know why you did that. But sorry for, sorry for the weird reaction. I'm just a bit, like, really sceptical at the moment because, like, you've just got to be on edge sometimes when, you know, you're being targeted with stuff like this. Yeah, but basically, um, if you guys haven't noticed, I've deleted all my neo-Nazi furry videos because 
if you get free copyright strikes on YouTube, your channel gets deleted. And I didn't know what this guy had striked me for. So I was like, I've got to make sure none of that stuff is on the channel anymore because I'm not losing my channel because someone's trying to dox me, basically. Um, yeah, so that is the explanation of why I'm... Um... <laughs> no, sorry for scaring you. No, you, you didn't scare me, but just because it's so out of, out of the blue and I was just thinking... Um, you know, I was thinking, is this like a real coincidence of what happened yesterday, basically? And like, I know, I know things like Kiwi Farms, just because I've had a look, they link, they link my streams and stuff to try and like troll them. But anyway, no, su um, atheists, I super, super appreciate that. That's so, so nice of you. And now I'm going to read, I'm going to read your comment again without the skepticalness of it. So um, you were saying... If you think about it, the reactionaries on YouTube, such as Mauler Rags and Star Wars Girl, all have a modernist view on what art should be, which is objectively measured. Um, and as someone who followed this narrative of art, it led me to become a fascist later on. So, a atheist, would would you say it's like um, for these anti HJWs, they have like a more like traditional view of like what a movie should be like, maybe like conventionally and like socially. So, if there's something like I don't know. Um, What's something they really hated? Like, okay, let's say The Last Jedi, maybe. And and then they start blaming it on, like, feminism, communism, uh, leftism, because The Last Jedi is not what they like in a film. Is it something like that? Um, but, yeah, someone also made a good point yesterday. Is that they said, anti-SJWs use big controversial events to snare people in. So someone said, I used to watch Geeks and Gamers because he hated... Game of Thrones season finale and I started watching that because I just enjoyed the like the pushback against um Game of Thrones uh, I didn't realize later that he is like this far right like YouTuber essentially and then I've made a video about how The Last Jedi acted as something like this where people hated this movie but they couldn't really explain why completely like they could say like you know I didn't like the Luke stuff, I didn't like, uh, I don't know, I didn't like the Kylo Ren stuff, but what these YouTubers did is like, I don't know, but they were like, okay, but they were sure they didn't like it, and basically Star Wars had been ruined, but what these guys did is filled the void of like, why it was bad, it's like, well, Kathleen Kennedy um, is in charge of Lucasfilm, so it's probably her fault, like feminism, Ryan Johnson, you know, feminist, and they were trying to shoehorn in like this Ray feminist plot, in essence, like, replacing, like, I don't know, the, the contemporary Star Wars plot of, like, men and stuff. There's stuff like that. And I think with Game of Thrones, I don't know what the reaction was. Like, would they say the writers of Game of Thrones were, like, SJWs or something? Um... So Shapeshifter saying, uh, you are right, there was never a thing called SJWs. It's just something name to gain attention for people to get mad at and all the anti shows are actually the real shows in disguise to get the advantage yeah i agree like if okay if we take like what sjw meant in terms of being like hysterically outraged at everything anti shows are literally mad at everything like gay character they're mad black character they're, they're mad a film about asian culture they're mad film about black culture they're hysterical uh, female lead in a movie with loads of like male side characters they're mad like there's nothing you can do to please these guys and surely that fits in with the definition of like sjw ism and shit like that way more because like i don't understand the, the thing is advocating for more diversity is is like a good thing but i'm not like hysterical about it but also I'm also not a fan of like giant corporations and I can recognize like the liberal capitalists like taking the sort of stuff and making it into like a marketable thing. And and they don't really, un that's what I think anti-SWs don't understand is that liberals and leftists are very different in that, you know, we both think, I think like, I don't know, let's say um, all the shit about Hillary Clinton, like, I'm still with her, and this like, feminist shit about like the first woman president like versus Bernie Sanders. I'm not going to buy into that, because it's just ridiculous. But um, a lot of people, you know, think we're all like that, basically. Um... 
What's wrong with Falcon and the Winter Soldier? <laughs> um, yeah, Falcon and the Winter Soldier is just like I said. I said this on Twitter. I liked Loki because it was different, but I like Loki because the two leads are really good and they have really good chemistry. Where I think Bucky and and uh, Falcon are boring characters like now. Like Bucky is boring now. Like he wasn't boring, uh, and the stuff with him that was interesting in the show was really like put to the side I for and. Uh, I just think Anthony Mackie is a bad actor. Like, he was rubbish in Altered Carbon. I don't think he was good in Falcon the Winter Soldier. And the only interesting part of that show, like, thematically, was the old black Captain America who was experimented on and, like, had his life ruined and no one knows about. And he's basically saying, like, you know, why would any, why would any black man want to be Captain America? But at the end, it's like, he doesn't care. And I, I said to my brother when we were talking about this, I was like, a, a good ending would be Anthony Mackie becomes Captain America, but this guy doesn't like that. We'll never forgive him for it, basically. And that's just an interesting thing in the back of your mind is like, here is one black guy who can accept America for all its flaws and be its like beacon and representative, and here's another black guy who was treated really, really bad by the state and n never wants to like be involved with this like patriotism, jingoism type. And I think that's more of an interesting dynamic. It's so dumb that this guy basically like agrees of him becoming Captain America Grumpy Panda I, I don't know if you said this to me yesterday when's Alex Jones meant to be going on um Thoughts Mr. the Robot? Can it be considered a resistance movie? Well, I mean, I guess you mean TV show. Um, I mean, Mr. Robot is really interesting. I've been talking with some of my friends who like it, like who are leftists as well. I used to think it was a very pro-revolutionary uh, show. And I think it's kind of undone a bit with season four in that it kind of feels like the message of the show used to be about like, revolution is hard but you've got to keep to it despite the losses and and it's going to be like this massive battle against like these really powerful forces and obviously the guy who made it's egyptian he said it's inspired by like the arab spring and occupy wall street and stuff like that but then i think with the stuff like the conclusion of the revolution is like a bit of the redistribution of wealth of like this bitcoin thing and like i, I don't know i don't I think it's it's way better than every show, but whether it's the best thing for this type of thing, I don't know. Um, sorry, read some more comments. Um, yeah, Geeks and Gamers has a separate politics channel. <laughs> so does the courtroom. Um... Well, Nolan Batman films are still way better than anything put out since. Um, wait, someone talking about my Joker opinion. <laughs> Oh, Blake. Yeah, I was thinking about this the other day, actually. So Blake says, I got a jo new job. My co-workers are chill until I said the election was stolen. Like, bro, I can't believe there are people like this in real life. Yeah, um, Blake, the good thing about being in the UK, like in London, most people who are conservative, we call them shy Tories, in that they won't actually um, often say they are conservative because they're too embarrassed and they think they'll be judged. Um, I cannot... Uh, you guys in the chat can tell me about this. I cannot imagine going to school, going to work, going to university with people who are Trump supporters. Like, I cannot even imagine that. I would just want to start fighting people all the time. It just must be such a hostile culture. Like, and, and because of Americans being so brazen and proud about it, oh my God, I'd fucking hate to live there. Um, Atheist Man is saying... Basically, that it has to follow a specific narrative or a set of rules and guidelines in order for it to be good. 
at, or it would be considered lesser or bad. Yeah, Atheist Mando. Um, I made that video about uh, the amazing atheist, and he he would say stuff like that because uh, is it is it my Anita Sarkeesian video? And he was like, you know, these tropes about the princess in the castle and like the damsel in distress. It's like bad, but then like how amazing atheist and others would defend it. It's like oh, it's like the hero's journey, like, you need this, it's not sexist or some shit like that, so, yeah, I totally get that, that, that is really, it's really weird that you, you think something has to fit into a box, like, my, my, not my favourite biopic, but a biopic I appreciated was the Steve Jobs one, um, by Danny Boyle, because it was a biopic that centred around three different Apple press conferences, in like three different decades and the film was just like the three acts were here is one here's the next one here's the other and that was how it was trying to give a portrayal of um steve jobs and stuff and i thought that was really interesting because it's like most biopics are so on the nose oscar bait really traditional structurally very similar and i was just like this is so much i really appreciate someone doing something different um The last show that was boring to me. I mean, I didn't love it, but um, so I'm just reading some more stuff. Um, why well, watch Marvel when I watch American football? Yeah, I do prefer watching soccer to watching Marvel. Um, Atheist Mando is saying, it's basically a mindset that in a way discriminate against a form of art they don't like or too abstract to have a specific narrative um, or meaning. It's an all right pipeline that, and it's an all right pipeline in art of film paint. That is really interesting actually. Um, <laughs> I would love to see what anti SJWs, I don't know if you guys have watched any of these movies, would think of a Terence Malick film. So um the more famous Terence Malick film are like uh, is it Days of Heaven, The Thin Red Line, and The New World. I, I want a I want a Mauler review of The Tree of Life by Terence Malick. <laughs> if, if 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 these guys think every film should have a very traditional structure, I, I please please watch some Terence Malick. I'd love to get their thoughts on that. <laughs> Um, Mary Sue is another one, yeah. They liked Suicide Squad. Um, yeah, Suicide Squad's a weird one. But, well, you mean the first one, or the second one? Geeks and Gamers is very racist. I mean, yeah, it's pretty clear. Um, so, Onana is saying, as a long-time female film critic, I think it has more to do with their worldview being challenged. Yeah, that is a really good point, in terms of, like, you know, you, you I think films can be so effective in either affecting your worldview towards something in a bad way or opening your eyes to other cultures. I'm trying to think, what is a big film that had an effect on me? I mean, it's even something like like 12 Years a Slave, I think is such a good movie because it's so brutal in such a modern way. Like, it, it, it's like the only like really high budget slave film, um, like really mainstream slave film, which is just so fucking awful and visually disturbing, I think it's just so effective in really conveying how horrific slavery was. Um, and and it's like, you know, things like Schindler's List is another good example. Um, there's plenty of films, like, they're even worse than, than the ones I mentioned in terms of, like, the visuals of them. But they're very good in, in getting you to kind of at least see what this stuff would have actually looked like um, hundreds of years ago or whatever. Um, Yellow Flash is the worst one. All he does is talk about American comics are dying, and never even props up comics he thinks are good. Yeah, that's something Coco um, people say a lot is like, these guys just hate on everything, but they never say what they like. The thing is, I I I hate on stuff. Okay, I admit I'm a hater. Like, if anyone knows me in real life, uh, they say, oh, you you know. Karen Ackle, you, you hate everything. You just want to shit on all on everything. And, and that is true to an extent. Like I, I, I'm a I'm a bit of a contrarian, but but I'm a bit of a contrarian in the sense that like 
I'm just not going to fucking watch something like Game of Thrones because cause, cause I don't know if you guys get this right. Something like Game of Thrones, um, before the last season, everyone would say, oh, this is the best, this is the best thing ever. It's not even like the best show. It's the best entertainment product that's ever existed. It's just the best. And I, and I think, and I, lo- I love Lord of the Rings when I'm growing up. I'm absolutely obsessed with Lord of the Rings. I, I, I really like fantasy, like Skyrim and Witcher. I love these games. Um, but for me, I was like, I knew loads of people who watched this and, and no offence, loads of people who I really like, but I don't respect their opinions on like TV or film or anything. It's just like your, your bar for how good something is, is so much lower than mine. Um, so that, that really put me off Game of Thrones. I was like, I said, how can all, how can all these people, like people whose opinions I respect and people's opinions on film and stuff I don't respect, how can all these people like it? I don't understand how they can all like it. And that's in my mind. Okay, this is for, for better or worse. In my mind, I'm like, the 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 reason no, and and even like the reaction to the last season, everyone hating it, like everyone hating it. And I'm like, it's not even like a fifty fifty thing. Even Last Jedi is like more fifty fifty, which I respect a bit more because it's like, well, you've you've tried to do something there that's not conventional. But with with Game of Thrones and stuff, it's like everyone liked it, and then everyone hated it. And I'm like, if if that is the case with your okay, I'm not saying films films or anything has to be like that. But for me personally, I'm like, if that is the case, I'm not really interested in it because surely you haven't done anything interested. If the, if all the masses can like this, it's the same with Marvel movies, right? It's like there seems to be a massive consensus on what ones are good and what ones are bad. And and the reason like and that's all well and good, especially in terms of like popcorn entertainment. That that's fine, but at the same time, it's like can I be bothered to watch something like that when it seems like I'll, I'll like enjoy it, but I probably won't think too much on this stuff where, um, I'm trying to think like there, there's a film, there's a film I really like, but I, I don't like love. Like, um, don't know how many people have seen it. It's, it's the lost, lost city of Z with Charlie Hunnam and Robert Patterson and, and Tom Holland's in it for a bit as well. Um, and it's about these explorers in like the nineteen tens and and twenties looking for this like ancient lost city in in like the Amazon. Um, and and the film is very like I, like I was talking to my girlfriend. I have so many criticisms of the film, but like it has like a couple scenes. I was like, that is so that stuff is so good. And, and like I wouldn't recommend it to people as like this is the best film ever. But it's like you should watch it for these scenes because these are really good and, and I think like you'll like them and that's kind of how I normally take media is like even if it's like like bad um in some ways I'll take something out of it I'm trying to think what's a movie I've done that like Ad Astra is by the same director it's the Brad Pitt space movie and I'm like this isn't an amazing movie but there's some parts of it I thought were so well done so I'm just like I like it because of that whereas like with Marvel movies I, I'd watch them and I'm like Oh, like yeah, that was good, and, and it's even like that's why I appreciate One Division and Loki a bit more because that the ending of One Division, um, I'm not okay, I'm not gonna spoil it because you guys might have seen it. There is an end. There is a bit in One Division at the end which actually is genuinely quite sad, and I was like, this, I like that because it actually is a sad thing. And then in Loki, there's a good scene at the start um, where he's basically watching all the Loki scenes from the MCU, but he's he's the Loki who never experienced that stuff. And I thought that was quite a good scene as well. Anyway, um, by and large, though, like, when people all, like, like something the same, I, I'm not really interested in it, to be honest. Yeah, I'm actually more interested when people hate something. <laughs> like, like I'd rather watch something everyone hates than everyone likes, pretty much, because I want to understand why everyone hates it, I don't know. Uh, Loki's action was bad, yeah, but I I find I like the show to be honest. I like I like the the Marvel sci fi stuff. I think is a lot, a lot better. I'm an American right winger. I'm Asian and I'm not racist, but anti HWs are racist. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess if, if even um, right wingers are calling them racist, they definitely are. Um, muscular, yeah, Abby from the Last of Us, and they're mad. Yeah, Brand Busters. Um, I haven't watched enough of about of secular talk to really make a video like the David Pakman one. Twitter hot take: Kavanagh popping off. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um. 
Is your brother an anti SJW? Um, Chaser, I'd say like he doesn't fit in that category, but he does have some reactionary opinions, I guess. Would you ever date a trans woman? Um, yeah, like like to be honest, like this is this that's a really interesting question you asked me. Is that um before like before I was like um a leftist content creator, so maybe like let's say like four or five years ago, like if I'm honest, I'd probably say like no and stuff. And I and I think that is something you've got to like that. And this is a problem with the UK in general is we're just not exposed to trans people in the UK. It's just not talked about by any political party or discussed in the media. So like now I would say, I would say, yeah, like I would. But before, let's say like when I was 20, maybe, maybe younger, if you asked me that, I'd, I'd be like, like, no way. And and I think that's important because even, you know, I've had a big political evolution since I was like 18, 19. But, and the main thing is with that is that so many, um, maybe not you guys right now, but so many of, of my subscribers and people who message me and patrons, patrons are all transgender. Um, so I've had such a massive exposure to issues like trans rights and, and just talking to transgender people and, and learning about it all. I'm not just talking about like in the last year or something. I'm talking about like in the last like five years. Um, but just you know, being in a culture where they're more visible, I think, has really helped me um, really accept. Uh, like in terms of like I'm telling you, like I would date one and stuff because that's just made me accept this stuff way more. Whereas like, you know, I know a lot of nice people in real life, and if I ask that question to them, I, I, at the very least, they'd be very hesitant. Um, for sure, but you know, I th thanks for asking that because that's an interesting thing. I was actually thinking about the other day. Like, I I told my I say that to my girlfriend. I was like, um, like that's one one thing I really appreciate about my time being more online is is I've become so much like, you know, I just accepted this stuff as as so normal now. Um, but I think that is in part. But then the thing is, what what I'm am proud of. I was actually watching one of my old vid videos from like twenty seventeen. And I was a bit scared because I was like, I was like, what were my politics like like back then? Am I gonna cringe? But then I was happy. One of the videos was actually me sticking up for trans rights in twenty seventeen, and I was like, oh, like I I did care about this stuff even back then, and, and in my head, maybe maybe I think it's something more new. Um, but you know, good good good, good question. Um, yeah, appreciate it. Uh, you asking that one. Oh, sorry, I've got some more super chats. Um. I saw this too. Okay, Le Le Tigre, uh Cav, my darling, your <laughs> very nice voice is the perfect perfect accompaniment to me while I play The Witcher 3. Stay safe. Le Tigre, I hope you're still here to <laughs> hear me read that out. Um, appreciate that so much. Um, I absolutely love The Witcher 3. I've completed it four times. I'm on my actually I'm on my fourth time on the Switch, and I've completed it on the hardest difficulty. Um But yeah, The Witcher man, like uh, I'm waiting for the PS5 upgrade to play the DLC again, like, like Blood and Wine, because I've like, like when, the most holiday plays, you know, I've been to Spain so much in my life, so playing like Blood and Wine and seeing like this Mediterranean aesthetic, I, I just, I really, really like. Um, so I've got loads of messages, I'm going to try and read them, I'm just going to go for the Super Chats first though. Um, Danosaurus saying, I foresee anti SJWs hating the new Indiana Jones movie next year due to the fascist showing due to fascists shown being in it, and Indy most certainly defeating them. Danosaurus, um, what are fascists are going to be in Indiana Jones? Is it going to be like some secret Nazi conspiracy thing? Because it must be set off the last one, which I think was in 1957, I think. Um, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Latigre, uh, as a trans woman, I now dub the um, a trans icon. You're only to us now. <laughs> um... I, I, I appreciate that Latigre. great like um i appreciate like it's obviously something they don't have to do but i appreciate a lot of trans people being like way more patient than they should be with with even like people like me who have to like come around to it but like like I, i've explained in the past my views towards muslim people and everything um not not like a racist view but i was like an edgy like atheist type um, I, I think the main thing is exposure and, and why it pisses me off like with the Labour Party in the UK they, 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 don't, they say they don't want to talk about trans rights as part of a culture war 
and they recently done a survey, and I think it was like 60% or maybe even 70% of adults in the UK would accept a family member of a friend coming out as transgender, which is like really surprising when we have this perspective and or like, um, you know, what's the word? Uh, image in the UK of being really, really transphobic. I think it's because prominent liberals are really transphobic, like J.K. Rowling, and then you have like um, conservatives who are all transphobic. So it creates this image that everyone in the UK is like this. When okay, there needs to be more surveys done, but from that one survey, it seems like it's not the total picture. Um, all right, so read some more comments. Um, hey, bad burrito. Um, I like Shinda's list. Uh, I don't like like. It. I, I mean, I uh, it's a really good film. I don't I don't like watching it. Obviously, though, uh, it's just pretty disturbing. Do not watch Vosh, Vosh, Vosh. <laughs> um, Badlands. Days of Heaven is another one, isn't it? Tree of Life. <laughs> Get Ben Shapiro to watch The New World. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to see... Um, uh, I'm doing Shang-Chi's Shang marketing. Daniel saying your video kind of motivated me to watch it. Now, to be honest, making that video is actually kind of maybe way more curious. What I don't get is people who cut off friends over Trump but not Iraq. Yeah, Red Leader, I guess that's the trend now, isn't it? Like, re re rehab the Bush administration and then everything Trump does is bad. Not like you can do both at the same time. Um, Alright, need some more comments. Um, uh, Last Jedi is growing on me. I mean, I watched it twice in the cinema and I really liked, I really liked it the second time. But I, I've I've gotten a bit worse on it afterwards. It wasn't just a show, it was a phenomenon. Yeah, it pretty much was, to be honest. Um, I do love how the, the subreddit that likes the books kind of hate the TV show. Alright, so... Um... Okay, yeah, someone someone confirmed this. I'm a book purist. I hate it since season four. <laughs> yeah, I've heard this sentiment a lot. The Star Wars sequel trilogy is not bad because of the characters, but the way it's written. Yeah, um, the writing is really bad. Um, the lack of it, like, that's why I like Mandalorian a lot, is because the world building is really, really good. And even, like, the video games have good world building. I'm really hyped for the Knights of the Old Republic remaster, by the way, because I've always wanted to play it, but the graphics just and mechanics really turn me off. Not the mechanics in terms of like the RPG stuff, just like the fighting looks really shit. Um, yeah, Lost City of Z is actually a pretty good movie. I liked it. I liked it. Um, a fair bit. So, um, I should watch The Green Knight. Yeah, people were saying The Green Knight's really good. They hated Parasite too, but... To be honest, Parasite is like anti-capitalist movie, so it's really not surprising. Um, I thought Loki was fantastic. I, li I liked it a lot for a Marvel thing, for sure. Um, who do I watch? Do you mean um, Melanor? Do you mean pol politically? Um, Umar saying, my brother is a huge sexist. I mean, everything is a woman's fault sexist. It's annoying. Yeah, I just could not stand to be around people like that. Like, I, I have older family members who I really don't like because they're like quite bigoted. Turf Island, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, hi, little fox. Thanks for joining. Um, so I'm reading some more shit. Uh, Latigo, thanks so much um, for another donation. Super appreciate that. Um, my partner believes that British transphobia is rooted in a misguided sense of feminism. And American transphobia is just simple ignorance. Yeah, like I, I don't know, I don't know if it's like anything to do with like aristocracy and sh and like maybe like feminism from elite people or something. But I guess like um, with the U.S., like what what's really interesting to me is Joe Biden. Like I don't know what how he feels about trans rights, but like him him saying stuff about like transgender rights and stuff 
is so massive and I can't even believe it's like him who's saying that shit and, and like I think I know I know it's like a, it, you know it, it is a bit of like virtue signaling in that I don't think he believes this stuff himself but the fact he feels the need to say that and he's comfortable enough to say that in this like obviously awful two party system and he's been fairly conservative his whole life I think it's so big and, and that I think that does a lot to the culture in general in helping normalise this stuff but I will say um, with American trans rights issues I, I think I spoke with Mike on the Humanist Report about this on the panel show we did um, uh, the difference with the American stuff is that um, the war against trans people is so much more I guess militant and and just like open where i think like with a lot of things in the uk it's more like liberal columnists and conservative people and it's all about creating a culture where trans people don't feel comfortable coming out like at all there's also a lot of like new stuff with the medical me the medical side in the uk has gotten a lot worse but obviously you have republican states which have basically just you know carried out a war on tra trans people as well so so it's like um very very different circumstances but i'd say like if we had if Bo if boris johnson i know this is a shit example if boris johnson started talking about protecting transgender rights and stuff um obviously it would bore the piss of of like so many british conservatives but i think that would be a big deal because if if the labor leader won't talk about transgender rights then how are we gonna like start a conversation about this in british politics at, at like a larger level it's it's really really frustrating. Like I just I I like just want to smash my head against the wall every day in the UK. Like I fucking hate our politics. It feels like we, it, Watch Dogs is a is a game about like post Brexit dystopia in London. I honestly think we're heading in that direction. I just absolutely fucking hate it um, here at the moment. <laughs> will, when will you buy a two point seven million dollar house? I think never. Kevin <laughs> um, will be streaming a made out for this time next year. Oh, okay. okay. No, I, I, the the thing is that pe pe people ask me this a fair bit. Like the the question I get a lot, um, people ask me if I'm gay or bi. Like I, I'm sorry to disappoint. I, I actually the most the most compliments on my appearance I actually get is from gay men. But like um yeah sorry like um I don't know like I, I've always known I, I I've seen like a lot of people come out as bisexual um lately which is cool like people I didn't wouldn't expect like creators and stuff. Um, for me, it's just always been like pretty clear. It's like if if you know you're something, you just know sometimes, and, and there, there was never anything confusing <laughs> about like, you know, I just have always been like only really attracted um, to women and stuff, even from like a young age. I used to be when I was like a little teenager, I was a bit of like a, a ladies' man in school, in that like um, I would just like have so many, not so many, but I had like a fair few girlfriends, and like the girls liked me because I was like. What's the word? I wasn't a bully, but I was kind of like mean. Um, like I'd take the piss, basically. Um, not in a mean way, but I'd like to like to take the piss out of everyone. Um, and yeah, I've obviously been with my current girlfriend for um, nearly nine years as well. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I think what I what I respect actually is like I think the client like the one good thing is that I just think the climate on this stuff has just changed so much. Um, the buy stuff's cool because obviously like um there's a whole culture around people what people think of people coming out as bi like like you're a virtue signaler especially if you're in a straight relationship as well it's like um if you come out as bi it's like oh well that's easy for you to do like you just say it and and people think that you're lying basically which is shitty um but like it's good to see that more people like feel comfortable enough coming out of it like i've seen so many people do it. also coming out as like like non-binary as well i think it's pretty cool like, i've seen so many people do it these days and that's something i've seen a lot in england as well um it's just like um you know trans rights generally are pretty shitty here in the conversation i'm always like five minutes behind yeah the thing is i'm i'm behind because i like to read most of the comments but um Mandalorian is trash. I like Mandalorian. Um, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Knights of the Old Republic remake. I really want. Who are your friends in the leftist socialist community? Friends. Friends is a weird word. I was actually thinking about this the other day as well. I was like, 
who would I actually like if I met them in real life? Because um, my problem has always been, and it's my problem at uni, I, I'm like super easy to get on with and I get on with so many people. Like if I met any of you, um, you would come, you'd come up, you'd probably come away thinking like we got on really well. And unless like, I don't know, something weird happened <laughs> or like, or like maybe you were in like a really bad mood or I was in a really bad mood, but like generally I, I, I never let that affect how I treat people. Um, but my problem is, is I don't want to be friends with so many people unless I really click with them. So at, at uni, um, I'm still friends with them. I made two really good friends, but I knew I'd be really good friends with them like the moment we met, basically. And then at my second uni, um, it happened again where I became really good friends with these two people. And I talked to a lot of people, and we've been like matey and stuff. But then I would never really click with them, um, and that's always been my problem with making friends. And and you could say it's like a good thing or it's a bad thing because like I value those friendships a lot more. But I never, you know, I I talk to a lot of people on YouTube, like on Twitter and stuff. Like um. And we get on like online, but at the same time, I don't know how much we get on in real life. But um, from conversations I've had with Mike from the Humanist Report a couple of times, uh, we get on pretty well, uh, at least online we do, like even even conversations. Um, like in terms of Twitter, like Elliot from Internet Today, we tweet out a fair, but I think we would get on. I used to think Lance from the surfs, but I haven't spoke to him in, in years now. Um, we used to get on fine. Um, who else have I spoken to on the YouTube community? Uh, me and Cirrus, um, we, we obviously collabed and stuff. I think we'd get on fine as well in real life. Um, but yeah, generally, I don't talk to too many people like... I'm not like I'm not like Vosh. You're not gonna see my DMs flooded with loads of people you know. Basically, if I, if I have a look at them now, quick. Um, most of the people I talk to, yeah, you, you, most of the people I talk to is like my my brothers, my girlfriend, um, some huge. Yeah, I got Mike and Sirius here last month. I spoke to them a bit. Um, The surf sometimes, sheep on a box, in the box sometimes, and that's pretty much it to be honest. Um, I don't really talk to I don't really talk to too many other other like prominent left wing YouTubers and stuff. Um, but I, I, I'm I I try not to like hate on anyone on YouTube. Like I try and stay fairly like, if I want to jump into some drama, like I just gave my my um opinion on on the like. Vosh Professor Flowers thing. I I didn't like name or tag either of them. I just like gave my general opinion and just like didn't want to start any drama, but just want to give my take on it. Um. Yeah, Fahrenheit nine. Hey, Francisco. Uh, Fahrenheit nine eleven. Yeah, we watched that in film studies. I think our, our teacher was pretty based to be honest. He showed us. Fahrenheit 911, Battle of Algiers, and loads of Ken Loach films. <laughs> Just trying to make us all um, socialists, basically. PS5 time exclusive. I'm happy because I got the PS5. So. <laughs> um, who do you watch politically? I guess you are watching um, here. Um, who do I watch? I'd say the only people I watch properly, I watch Mike from the Humanist Report. I watch the Young Turks just as like a news channel, like to get my news on American politics. Um, and that's pretty much it, to be honest. I, I don't watch much politics on YouTube. Um, I, I prefer watching gaming stuff. So Easy Allies is, is probably the channel I watch most. Uh, Stephanie Sterling is someone I watch a lot as well. Um, so they're a bit political. I'm trying to think, who else? Who else do I watch? Other than that, not, not much to be honest. Um, when I normally have free time, I normally play video games, and I'd stick on a podcast maybe, but otherwise, I probably wouldn't uh, watch anything. Um, the Expanse I've been recommended to a lot actually. <laughs> um, Um, I'll pay a member of parliament a thousand dollars to call uh, Boris Johnson Prime Minister BJ that would be hilarious but I'm not joking you probably would get kicked out of parliament or something uh, the US by far has the worst political spectrum out of any developed nations the UK seems to be close second I'd say I'd say the UK's political spectrum 
isn't bad in terms like we understand like the different like political ideologies i'd say the, the like like this is probably what you're getting at is that our um our ruling parties at the moment the labor and conservatives are just like all centrists to like right wingers which is really crap we don't have the diversity of like a greece or spain or portugal or something like that which i wish we did um but yeah i i i don't know enough about um i'd say probably like austria or something has has worse has like a worse you know politics austria poland shit like that um Getting complimented by gay men is the highest compliment. <laughs> I mean, I'll take any compliment I can get. I don't care what. I don't care. Um, I don't care who you are. <laughs> but strangely, um, women are the you know out, out of everyone. The straight women, especially, I barely ever. Maybe because most people watch me are men, but I barely ever get any compliments from um, straight women. But yeah, I'll I'll take any compliments I can get. It's it's always nice to be told. Um, Told nice things, the Chad vernacle. <laughs> yeah, someone someone used to call me that actually. Um, uh, are you excited for Dune? Um, yeah, you guys can see the Blade Runner poster in the background. Um, I am excited for Dune, and I'm excited for like the visuals. I think it looks really fucking weird though. Like I, I, with Blade Runner, I was like, I'm so hyped for this. I can't wait because I love the first one. But with Dune, I'm kind of like, I'm not too sure if I like this too much. But like the cast is great. Um, I, the director's done a lot of good stuff, and like Blade Runner twenty forty nine is one of my favorite films. So I want to go see it in the IMAX and stuff. Um, Hassan Piker, <laughs> going to talk about him tomorrow actually in, in my nine eleven video. The surf Lance dude is called Michael Brooks. Rest in peace. Yeah, I never, I never um, watched too much Michael Brooks when he was alive. Sadly, um, but yeah, surfs are cool. My first roommate in college was a neo-Nazi. For fuck's sake, man! Like, I feel so bad for you. I, I don't know what I do. I, I just be like, I've got to get out of here. I keep a tiny inner circle. I've never understood um, how people can have such huge number of close friends. Yeah, I know this, um, I get that completely. For me, I actually do have quite a big friendship group, but it's mainly because I've always lived in the same area, so they're all my friends from school, like primary school. So, like, I've known most of my friends since I was, like, five, and then and a couple more of them when we went to secondary school, so, like, 11 or something. So, like, I'd say, you know, I still go to, like, house parties with a lot of people that I'm all friends with. Um, don't know how long that will last, but, like, we've all been friends for, like, 15 years or, or, or at least pretty much so um so reading some more stuff wait what is this shit web what the fuck is this crap <laughs> some horrible bot entered the chat alright is it gone can I even delete it remove all right i'm reloading the page ah there we go it's gone <laughs> um do i play nintendo yeah if if girl who has no name if you ever become a patron you'll get my friend code i'm gonna give my ps nid to people soon i just need to change it to the cavernacle or something like that <laughs> um What are people calling about now? How is demon time treating you? I mean, it's treating, treating myself, treating my, me okay. I've had a busy day, really. Um, I went to play football, and I'm just doing some chores, and then um, I built my exercise bike. You can see it there. Annoying, oh, just to help rehab my knee, which I've hurt nearly like two fucking years ago, and it still hurts. Um, but yeah, okay, really, to be honest. Um, massive headache, which is the bad part. Played football, got a nice sweat on. That's basically it. <laughs> Ownerless is like, I feel like I'm at like um, 
I'm at like a strip club <laughs> and I'm getting money and compliments at the same time. I know they're saying, uh, I'm a straight woman, although I'm quite a bit older and I'm not hitting on you. Yes, you're an attractive guy. Oh, thanks so much, Um, I can't, My means are not coming from you in the sense, everyone, I don't know if you know, uh, Onalus is like my oldest subscriber. Probably not my oldest subscriber, but my oldest subscriber who I actually recognize has been a subscriber for like over two years, I think. Um, but I don't I appreciate the donation so much. It's so, so, so kind of you. Um, yeah, what can I say really? <laughs> Just um, really, really nice of you guys tonight to give, uh, to, you know, be doing the super chats. But yeah, um, unless any, unless anyone has subscribed to me for over two years, I don't think you'd be uh, ownerless for being the long time, the longest subscriber. Um so have a look. <laughs> so no, I mean, uh, if you guys think you have, uh, there's one other person I think. Red Leader's been here for ages, but I don't think it's longer than two years. There's a couple others have been here for a long time. Um, so what are people talking about up here? Elliot seems pretty cool. Interesting. Um, yeah, Halo fan. What What's really weird about Elliot is that I was massive on Machinima and ETC when KO Anonymous used to do it. And I used to love Machinima when I was like 12, 13. So what was really weird about Elliot is I used to watch ETC when he was doing it. And then one day, like he likes my tweet and I'm like, oh cool, like this guy liked my tweet. And then I was like, oh shit, this guy follows me. And I, and it was so weird. And it's also, he he knows so many people like I'm fans of, like I, I think he's like, he's collabed with them and stuff. So it was really cool. Um, it was really cool for him to follow me in the first place, but then he actually says he likes my stuff as well, so that that was cool. The the good thing about doing the, the good thing about doing YouTube and the weird thing is like um, Anna Kasparian followed me on Twitter the other day, and that was the that was the weirdest thing ever because I watched the Young Turks when I was like fifteen, and I still watch them today, um, just for news and stuff, um, and it's like I've known who this person is for so long. And I've, I obviously, I, I like Anna a lot, actually. Um, and I, I respect their, like, political evolution. I know they're a bit, I think they're, like, maybe 10, 10 or 12 years older than me. So I respect, like, they are, you can see their political evolution, especially since Trump's came in. And it's weird because Jenk has kind of said it stayed the same and she's changed a lot, which is which is interesting. But that was really weird when she when she followed me as well. So I was just like, oh, it's so strange getting people. I, and, and Mike from the Humanist Report, collabing with, collabing with him was really weird because I've liked his stuff for a while. So that's the weird thing about becoming like a, being like a growing YouTuber is people I like, like following me on Twitter and um, even like interacting with me is quite bizarre to be honest. Um, but cool, because like if I told myself that like, like five years ago before I even done, started YouTube, I'd be like, oh my God, that's so cool. Like I think if, if I told myself, like sometimes I'm not really like, I don't really appreciate having a YouTube channel, but like, if I told myself I'd have this channel like four or five years ago, or even like two year, two or three years ago when I was doing it, and I would, I could tell myself like, oh, if you keep doing it, like your channel will be like this one day, I'd be like so excited. I'd be like, no way, like I can't believe it. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's weird, especially this year, because obviously like I've gone from 13K subs to nearly 43K. So it's been a crazy growth. And like um, hoping to hit 50 by the end of the year. Um, which would be amazing. Let's just hope no stupid copyright strike stuff like friends my channel. Um, oh shit! Um, oh, my, my back is hurting today. Sorry if that seemed random and quite high. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> What are my thoughts on Zelda games? Um, I really like Breath of the Wild. Uh, I loved Fount Phantom Hourglass on the DS. I used to play Wind Waker and Ocarina of Time on the GameCube. Um, the only ones I've completed, I think, are um, Phantom Hourglass and Breath of the Wild, I think. Maybe some other ones. But I do like Zelda. A Hyrule Warriors I completed, and I've got the second one as well. Um, I'm going to watch part two of He-Man. I only watched part one. Um, just not really for me, to be honest. Uh, what do I think of Dead Space? Uh, hey, Rai. Rai sent me a good meme on, on Instagram. Um, Dead Space, I, I liked number three, which is the only one I played. It was pretty horrific, though. I'd be up for one. Um, I love Resident Evil 4, and Dead Space, the original, was kind of in like the style of that. 
so let's see. Um, <laughs> Nankita, Nankita, that's that's too kind. Here's a compliment from a straight woman. You're an amazing person and really handsome. Oh, it's so sweet of you. Um, and I've got my ratio up now. I got I got two two straight women in in history in the history of my channel complimenting me. <laughs> um, then I got loads of gay men saying um, I'm like their bear or something, which <laughs> which is nice, but also just very funny to me as well. <laughs> Um, yeah, as someone was saying about yeah, like uh, with um, with gay men compliment me, it it does seem to happen like a lot more. Someone said they're a lot they're a lot more um, willing to give out compliments, which I which I definitely notice for sure. <laughs> it, it it is funny. Like on my last video, someone was like, "Cav, you're just you're a really good looking guy." That was the only that was the only comment. I was like, "Damn!" And also, I find that weird with with also the the fucking belief by so many people uh, not that there's anything wrong with being like you know larger but so many people think i'm fat which i've never understood um where's my channel oh wait it's all getting fucked up like i've never understood uh, okay, okay people explain to me in the comments i've done it before why do people think i'm overweight people say it's the beard that was funny. Also, um, I do love... I just started posting photos of myself in the community tab because for some reason, people just like it way more. So let's have a look at this, right? So here, here's me posting normally. Um, right, so like here's an article I posted. There's a video, 189, 186, 345, 183, 200. And then I posted a photo of me and, with Adam Smith in... Um, I, I'm proud of this photo, to be honest. Me, me and Adam Smith in Edinburgh <laughs> and it's like 900 likes and I said to my girlfriend at the time I was like what it's like 900 likes for that and then I was just like I tested this theory out a bit more so then I posted this one um plotting capitalism's downfall during demon time <laughs> and it's like 1k and it's like posted that and that's what I mean like I, I'm not like a, a you know I'm not there's nothing wrong with being overweight at all but like I, I just find it weird because a lot of people just like to use it as an insult against me like get out of i don't know neck beard fat fatty and shit and I, honestly i don't i don't give a shit really but it's kind of like i get it so much i'm like why do people think that but that got 1k that nearly got 700 and that got 1.3k I, I was, i'm gonna keep doing it now i don't give a fuck but yeah like um i've been in better shape and stuff but i've been like pretty skinny my whole life to be honest um not saying i'm like really scrawny or anything now but um i always find it really weird that so many people, especially right wingers, will always say I'm really fat or something. Um, here, one sec. Let's zoom out a tiny bit. Get the chat up. Alright. So I get to take the chat again. The poll's still going. <laughs> um. So let me live chat. I was on the top chat. Let's end the poll. Most of you agree. <laughs> um, the bot is back. Oh no. How can it be back? <laughs> I banned it. Okay, hopefully that's that's it gone. Been here since the COD video. So I think the COD video is two years, but I think ownerless has subscribe even like maybe nearly three years i think uh but yeah red leader's been here for ages as well um chad cavernacle chad and that's what people were saying uh what are my thoughts on the matrix i've only watched the first one i said to my girlfriend we've got to watch um the next ones but i i actually um i i like i like the first matrix but i'm watching this like over 20 years after it came out i liked it um, I didn't think it was like amazing, but like I appreciate why everyone thought it was um, so good at the time. And I, I just think, tell me if this gets better. I don't think Neo is a good character. Like he, I read somewhere he barely says anything in the whole film. I am, I am hyped to see. I like Jessica, Jessica Henwick, and I know she's in the new one. And it's cool they brought like a lot of people back. The new Morpheus looks really cool as well. Um. Just had two hernias and finally medically cleared. Um, awesome. Um, are you American? I hope you're not American though, because you probably got a nice hospital uh, hospital bill. Um, 
I got hurt at a weird time. Why were you telling him he's attractive? Yeah, people just like really wanted to tell me that, to be honest. Um, which football team do you support? I support, um, it's weird. Um, in London, Brentford was like a cheap ticket and a cheap game to go to. So I, I, I've always, I've gone to Brentford since I was small. Um, but I've always supported Man United because of my dad. Um, but then I've also, but then I've supported Brentford as well. But then to me, it was like, well, Brentford are like that kind of like crap team you can go see for a cheap ticket. But then over the last six years, Brentford have gotten really good. Now Brentford are in the Prem with Man United. So it's weird. I support like two Prem teams now. I guess I might support Man United a bit more. I'm going to see Brentford on, on Saturday, Brentford Brighton. So, um, I miss Battlefield Friends and Machinima. Oh, yeah, fucking hell, I remember that as well. <laughs> Union Berlin. Um, uh, did they get relegated last season or are they still in um, the Bundesliga? Be gone, but. <laughs> Um, I I've kicked the bot. It's a different one. I'm I'm the mod. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting Praga U ads. Yeah, Daryl, thanks for telling me. I get loads of ads which are like really really shit, <laughs> like stuff I actually ha actually hate. I used to watch an ex-Muslim channel, and they just used to get loads of like really religious adverts and stuff. Anna, damn, bro, you're moving up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I always get really paranoid. I'm like, why do they follow me? And also, when loads of people you like follow you, you're like, I better change how I tweet. <laughs> but I just don't. So, Redman, uh, the, stri the, the strike from Forgotten Weapons has expired, thankfully. So, I had that for three months. And now I have this one for three months. Basically, I don't know if this person wants to dox me, but because they're a Nazi, I'm not giving over my, my personal info, so that means I pretty much can't do anything. But annoying th this is why copyright strike system is so shitty. So, like, Forgotten Weapons copy copyright strike my video, so it's, so it's gone. Um, I don't believe I broke fair use. I think it was fair use what I did. He's, he's obviously got way more money than me. He probably has a lawyer anyway. Um, what am I meant to do? Because you have to be willing to go to court to fight this stuff. I can't go to court. I don't, I don't have the funds for a lawyer to fight this stuff, so I just got to take it. If it got really bad, uh, lucky for me, like you know, my little brother's a YouTuber, I, I'd, I'd try and get his help and stuff, but we'll see, because I know he talks to YouTube directly. If you like football, gather your friends and play. I mean, I, I play sports. I played today, and um, and like uh, I watch it as well. <laughs> Resident Evil is not survival horror. I mean, it's more like action horror. It is pretty horrific, though. When gays compliment you, that's when you know you have style. <laughs> I mean, I fucking wish. I wish I had better drip. Um, I don't have enough money for better drip, really. How long before John Chong and Destiny team up to give your channel that final strike? Yeah, fuck that, man. I I do live in fear of that. I don't know if you guys noticed the Geeks and Gamers video. Um, I don't actually play his video. I play the audio of a picture on it. I think I'm just going to have to do that going forward um, because it makes it way harder for him to strike it. Maybe because usually when men grow beards, it's to hide their fat chin. <laughs> Maybe so. Um, drip. You're becoming a drip goal with these photos. <laughs> uh, looks like you're ready for OnlyFans. To be honest, if I had a sick body, I would not mind doing OnlyFans. Um, I, my body's just not good enough. <laughs> only cabs. Yeah, only cabs. Um, that'd be a new one. You said soccer wrong. I'll, I'll never call it soccer. Oh, God. Can you hear that fox? Oh my god, can anyone can anyone hear that fox? That wasn't like a baby screaming, it's a fox. <laughs> um Alright. I think it's gone. Say Sa I oh, the fox. The fox. Alright, we'll wait. Uh, Saeed, I told you who I support. I used to be skinny, then my 30s rolled around. Francisco, I was saying to my friend the other day at football, because um, I was saying this on stream the other day, I really hurt my arm doing weights, and um, my knee's been hurt for two years. It still hurts. And I was like, I'm only 25, and I feel like I'm deteriorating. <laughs> All right, let's... I'll leave it a bit longer. Tell me if you can see the, see the fox. Um, because you have the face-up angle in the husky boys. Maybe so. <laughs> Um, Spooky Kitty says I thought you were fat at first it's the cheeks do I, I have chubby cheeks 
to be honest, one of my friends has said that to me for ages, uh, that I have chubby cheeks, so... <laughs> um, people use an angle to hide their body when they're fat. Like, is Phil DeFranco fat? Um, first mention it was good, the other two I didn't like, really like. Um, yeah, I, I want to watch the other two, though. Cav, you're just so attractive. <laughs> Thanks so much, Melon Lord. <laughs> I appreciate it. Can we? Should we just retitle streams like um, compliment uh the cavernacle for like two hours, please, <laughs> and that's all we'll do. Tell me how great I am because I need the validation. I think it's because you have a rounder face and a beard. People may perceive it as being bigger. Yeah, possibly. I do have a big head to be honest. Um. Geeks and Gamers is pretty thick around the middle. Can you explain why he wears a quite dark hoodie all the time? Um, okay, universe. You're going out. How do people... I don't even understand why people spam and stuff. Um, okay, I've, I've, I've banned, the, banned the person who was spamming. Um... Union Berlin has become mid-table battlers in the Bundesliga. Oh, okay, that's good. Um, I wanted to know more about the Forgotten Weapons thing. Um, yeah, I guess the only thing you do is court, which wish there was another way. Yeah, YouTube is shit. It just helps big creators, really. Okay, basically what happened, because you want to know this. Um, Forgotten Weapons, Ian from Forgotten Weapons, he copyright striked my video for um, whatever, like not fair use. And basically... It was a video about roadie boos and Rhodesians. And basically, I had a clip of him talking to Larry Vickers, who's this, like, roadie boo um, gun guy, right? And it had him and Ian talking about the FAL, which I talked about in my video. And Ian said it wasn't fair use because I didn't add commentary or whatever. And in my view, I'm talking about Larry Vickers. It's just like a... It was only like a 10-second clip of them talking about the foul. Like, 10 seconds. And I messaged Ian. I said, I'll take it down if you remove the strike. I promise. And he said, like, no, I've got to protect my brand, all this shit. And I was like, he was basically saying he st he stays away from politics in his channel. So me associating him with Larry Vickers in a, like, a political way is damaging to his brand. And I was thinking, if you don't want to be political, don't bring on a guy who says the, down the, the fall of Rhodesia was the worst thing to happen in the post-war period. Don't bring him on to talk about the Rhodesian foul. And then, um, but that's what I mean. Like, I don't believe I've broken fair use by doing that. Um, but what can I do? I can't do anything because he he's saying this. He he has like over a million subscribers. He has a big Patreon. He has the money. Even if he doesn't have a lawyer, um, he'll probably win this stuff. And, and then it looks bad on me. And then in theory, if you start unfairly copyright striking people on YouTube, um, your channel will get deleted. But in reality, what actually happens is people do this and get away with it, which is really shitty. <laughs> um, thanks so much also speaking as a straight girl you're very attractive but I may be biased because I like men with beards also I'm getting uh, uh, we've got three, three straight women <laughs> who have paid me really nice compliments no, I really appreciate that beards rule yeah my, my I don't know if anyone else gets this my parents keep telling me to shave all the time I'm like no I don't want to my girlfriend's never had a problem with my beard um, I like it so yeah <laughs> Yeah, red man. Yeah, basically, I'm just gonna do the audio now. The thing is, if I, if I'm using a left wing creator who I'm pretty confident won't strike my thing, I'll use the video. But um, that's a fox. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like a chimp. I've never heard a fox before. Yeah, um, Casey, when they fight, they just squeal so loud. You get loads of foxes in England. Oh. Hey, you saying, um, I'm in my, light, in my late 30s and I stopped weightlifting like five years ago to avoid injuries. Yeah, like it is really annoying. Um, I, I've been doing, I've, I've been working on 20 kg dumbbells and I think I just overdid it, like the amount I did. And then like, I just hurt and now I've, I've stopped for two weeks and it's just like really frustrating um but yeah like it's i guess it's just getting older 
I'm a fat ginger dude and gay guys fucking love me and I have zero style. <laughs> what is this webcam thing? How? I've blocked them so many times. So I'm making sure it's all gone. Have a good night, Cav. See you later, man and lord. Um, appreciate the nice compliment you gave me. Yeah, Redman. Uh, so I use a 10 second clip of it. And it, it, like you said, it's totally fair use, 100%. It, it, that, would, that, that would even be fair use if I was using a music video, which is like notorious for being heavily copyrighted. The fact, but that's the thing. He, he did it, and he admitted to me he did it to protect his image. That's not what copyright striking is for. And he said, oh, yeah, but it wasn't like transformative content. I, he's like, why didn't, you use, why didn't you ask me? Or why didn't you um, use a clip from Larry Vickers' channel? And it's like, you don't have to fucking ask people. It's fair use. You, could easy, you would easily pass as a West Asian. <laughs> people have told me so many different nationalities and ethnicities I'd pass I'd pass for, to be honest. I've been told I look Chechen, um, Greek, uh, Spanish, loads of other, uh, Jewish as well is something I get a lot, mainly from the alt-right and stuff. Hey, Cav. Hey, folks. Work sucked last night. Oh, I, sorry to hear that, Katie. Um, what happened at work? Do I even want to know? <laughs> Uh, Redman saying, if Ian doesn't want to be political, he needs to shut down his channel and go live in the woods. His channel is inherently political, as I said before. The weapons he reviews have been used. Yeah, Redman, what what is really annoying? I I loved Ian's channel. Like I would I would just stick that on when I was bored, and now because I'm so pissed off at what he did, even though it's gone, I just don't want to watch it anymore. And I've literally unsubscribed. I haven't watched a single video since. I used to watch him all the time. I told him I was like, I really like your content. Like, I'm a big fan. Um, and then that, that's why I thought he'd be more understanding. But it's being a fucking cock about it. My parents have been telling me to shave for five years. Yeah, I get that all the time. Um, YouTube is shit now. It's really the content creators that have all the privilege. They can do what they want. Yeah, it's it's stupid. Like this 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 Nazi strike is completely different because I just know they're trying to dox me um, by being really fucking annoying so I'm just not even going to dispute it. I injured my sh shoulder and ankle. Shit took years to f heal fully. Yeah, green green, green sheen. Yeah, that's, that's how I feel exactly with my knee. It's like, it feels better now, like, but not better. So, um, hopefully just going to do that every day because I've, I've been neglecting... The only cardio I really do is running but, like, I can't do that much with the knee so football is another big one as well. Um, sorry, some more stuff. <laughs> Kangaman, I mean, uh, if you watched it earlier in the stream, I don't think SJWs exist, so um, I guess not a pro one. I got a migraine at work. That sucks, Fortnite. I had one at work this time last year on my, my our print day. I literally had to go lie in the park for an hour with a cold can of monster on my head. How is his fucking spam channel? How does it keep coming back? I ban it straight away, don't worry. A co-worker apparently hasn't been licensed for a year and a half, and so was Waxin unlicensed. Um, webcam chat. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find... I'm going to type this YouTube thing. Sorry, Katie, I'm just trying to find this channel where it's coming from how can it keep coming back with the same name that's what I don't understand All right, I'm, I'm gonna be very very on it tonight um, Katie saying a uh, co-worker apparently has been licensed for a year and a half and so I was waxing unlicensed which is a major, major issue I also had an asthma attack with a guest. Oh, that really sucks. Um, what did you do after the asthma attack? Sorry to hear that. Um, what's the issue with the licensing thing? 
who gets in trouble if if something happens? I'm from Costa Rica and you'll pass like an average dude over here. <laughs> That's cool. I'm just it's just the it's just the dark hair. I can just pass for I can just go around passing for like um loads of different nationalities. Um Lucky for you, migraines of the world. Yeah, fucking hell. Like, I had my first migraine when I was driving around Scotland uh, just because I was so stressed from the really thin country roads. But, um, yeah, it's the worst feeling. Like, pe people... I I've had six in the last two years and I just... They're just fucking awful. So, um, yeah, I you have my sympathy for sure. Um, Atheist Man is saying, I walk seven hours a day and push carts my job. I suffer from carpal tunnel plantar fasciitis bruising and have a risk of melanoma half death from the carts very antisocial from a lack of top damn mando that sucks so hard um is the carpal tunnel from pushing the carts or do you just have that anyway uh what's plantar fasciitis i have heard of it um but yeah that's that's awful um can you apply for any disability um and also is there any i'm guessing not in the shitty hellhole caps as well is there any way to change your job like i had to quit mine just because it's so bad for my own health best thing i ever did to be honest tree fitty tree fitty tree fitty <laughs> the woke are a joke uh okay woke is a joke yeah woke don't, i only talk about it woke don't mean shit Apparently Joe Biden is woke and I'm woke. And we're not even the same. <laughs> I remember this in the next Super Chat. <laughs> yeah, Kate, Kate, you were outdone by Atheist Mando, though, I'm, I'm sorry to say. Um, Kate's saying, all of us knew she wasn't licensed, because, but because she's a narcissistic arsehole and made everyone's lives hell, we were just like, fuck it, our employer would just have to find out. Uh, boss could get sued and she'll never be licensed again. Um, oh, plantar fasciitis. I think my girlfriend had, had that for ages. Um, so did your boss find out then today? Um, one time I almost went down the dark path of anti SAW. Thankfully, I was able to uh, get out of it. Yeah, a lot of people... A lot of people who subscribe to me say they either were or nearly were. I think it's just like so prevalent because so much of the like fandoms are just dominated by these types now. <laughs> Blue Typhoon, I I'm I'm memeing about me destroying them. They're way bigger channels than me. Tear up nation, why should you bite down on a number two pencil? So from pushing carts and plantar fasciitis is the tendon inflammation in the arch which is left unattended could lead to a lot of issues and no, it's what keeps my fatty liver from progressing. That, suck, that sucks, man. Um, are you are you an American... Uh, atheist, man, are you in America as well? What do I think about Hashtag United? Um, Saeed, I used to watch them a bit. It is kind of dumb, but their semi-pro team is actually really good Like when I watch them. I used to play semi-pro. Um... Not as good as it sounds, um, <laughs> but like I was really impressed uh, with their actual, you know, the team that the first team and stuff. Sombra, that's really interesting to talk about Mike Mike Zero because he makes all so much shit up, like literally every video he makes is a lie. Uh, Atheist Mando, yes. Oh, that's. Ha have you got health insurance? Like, can you get these stuff? Can you get this stuff checked out or not really? So manager was going to print out our licenses to hang them up in our rooms, and then guess what? Whoops, Tate doesn't have a license. <laughs> what was she? Was she apologetic, Katie, or was she just very brazen? Oh fuck, it's back. How can it be back? Why is it targeting me? I got it though. Don't worry.
So I'm just reading some stuff. Um, the bot is Bosch. <laughs> There's just loads of weird channels. Um, Hero He, yeah, that's another one I always hear about. <laughs> You're cackling. Yeah, I, I do lo I do love when there's some some sort of, like, justice. Or you know someone's going to get fucked and you don't like them. She's suspended indefinitely. That's, well, that's good that you hate her then. I'm back. Hey, the Tigre, welcome back. Um, it's time now. Um, it's a CIA or State Department. I do, yeah. Oh, okay, that's good at least. The thing that sucks as well, bro, like the injuries you're talking about, obviously, like, need, like, a lot of long treatment. When you're working full-time, there's just no fucking time to even go to the doctors, especially if shitty bosses as well. Um, <laughs> Xander Hall is a CIA plant. Now, that's socialism done left to granddad of the Bay of Pigs. <laughs> Does anyone watch Bad Empanada? Uh, not really, but he made a good video on David Patman, which I shouted out, but he's pretty crazy on Twitter. Oh my God, can this thing just fuck off? I don't understand. Oh, okay, I, I'm I'm researching this. Uh, don't worry, I banned it quick, but I'm researching. Spam. Where the fuck is it coming from? Can I limit the chat? Wait. Oh, you can pop out the chat. I know that you could do this. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I haven't been able to pick up extra shifts, but it's worth it. <laughs> pretty good. It's worked out pretty well for you then. Social have done left. Can't stand that guy's face. Yeah, I, I don't. You know, I've never liked him. So. Oh damn! So what's what's the Voss doing? <laughs> Katie, no. This has happened before. Katie, that is way too much. Um, On top of everything you have given to me. So, yeah, Kate, Katie, basically, you know how... um, You know how politicians have, like, um, just, like, I don't know, fun, funding and stuff, or, like, people giving lo lobbyists and shit. That's Katie for me. <laughs> Katie, it's way too, way too much. Uh, appreciate that so much. I don't even know what to say yet at this point, to be honest. But, um, yeah, Katie's the best, really. Um... And I appreciate everyone else donated today. Was it was it's been like uh it's the best stream of all time. Loads of um women giving me compliments about how good looking I am and then um <laughs> loads of people giving me massive donations. <laughs> no, yeah, Atheist Mando, sorry, he Atheist Mando is the king, Katie's the queen, um La Tigre is the the princess. <laughs> um didn't Bad Empanada call out Xander Hall for the Afghanistan video yet? Um, yeah, I don't even want to talk about the Afghanistan shit because the people's opinions on it on the left Twitter are so fucking stupid. Just people who don't know anything about it. Um, yeah, Bad, Bad Empanada is just so crazy on social media. Yeah, he spent the whole time on Google Maps. Isn't Xander Hall like 20 as well? He really doesn't know what he's talking about. On the thing is, Xander Hall, like, he didn't even talk about the Israel stuff. Um, he just seems like he's in it to be like a YouTuber, not that he really gives a shit about the left loads. Also, that Lauren Southern thing he did was just the fucking worst. Uh, would it be too much to ask you to promote Vosh's pro choice fundraiser stream? Is he doing it right now? Um, 
he he's on he's on stream with like eight people. <laughs> I can't even imagine doing that. Um, I can't begin to tell you how much money Vosh would make. Uh, but yeah, Katie, thanks so much for the donation. Just seeing it pop up again. Um, I can't begin to tell you how much money Vosh would make if he monetized all his videos. He his views are just fucking insane. Um, on this, I can't find a link. I got his his uh, fundraiser last stream before fundraiser is what he's got up. <laughs> I like my imperialism to be intersectional. Hello, fan. Thanks so much, donation. Super appreciate it. Is this just like a I'm at like um a sh a strip club or something? It's like I'm getting shout I'm getting showered with money today. <laughs> no, Halo fan. That's so 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 nice of you. Uh, I always appreciate your contributions to the chat. Katie, lobbyist for consistent streams. <laughs> Katie, um, obviously because you you join my streams a lot, you know this. But like, um, yeah, my I've been super inconsistent. Like people who like Onanus and Katie, um, and other people, you you know that like I normally stream on a Tuesday and a Thursday. But lately, I've literally been streaming on a Monday, and that's it. It's mainly because um. Uh, I loads of different reasons, but like I said to my girlfriend this week, I was she was like, "Do you want to see it tomorrow?" And I was like, "No, I'm I'm keeping to my schedule this week. It's like Monday video, Tuesday stream, Wednesday video, Thursday stream, Friday video, um, because I haven't done that f for like two months nearly. There's lots of little things like um, I went on holiday for like ten days. Um, I stayed at my girlfriend for like well, my girlfriend's house for like over like two weeks or something so i couldn't do as much there and just generally I've, I've been a bit lazy to be honest so <laughs> um yeah red man it, anyone talking about stuff i don't understand especially foreign policy really bugs me so i'm i'm with you there we aren't patrons we're lobbyists for your attention <laughs> to be honest um i'll say this to people now i said this to my girlfriend i saw someone on on twitter who has 2k youtube subscribers their videos barely break 50 views saying uh they'll charge 20 pound 20 dollars each to do a stream about how to do youtube i'm like i'm like you don't you're not you haven't even been successful on youtube i'll give people that information for free <laughs> so here's the thing uh anyone it, it's just to anyone in the chat it's not just to patrons or people who, who've given me super chats you can message me on like um not twitter anymore I, i've chat I've, I've turned that off but on discord or um instagram you can message me about stuff um can't promise i'm going to be like available for like a full-on conversation but i people will tell you i always reply to my messages so if, if there's anything you ever wanted to talk about directly you don't have to like wait till i stream and, and give me a super chat or something you can just message me um on discord or instagram and, and i pretty much will reply within the day and stuff i usually do um i'm actually a lot ironically i'm actually a lot worse to replying to the patron messages to be honest because i just um i don't have patron on my on my mobile uh jesus saying uh i'm very bad at recognizing british accents do you speak with a london accent yeah a uh, south london accent um it's like not posh but it's it's not like cockney or anything far from a cockney yeah <laughs> uh any chance you can twitch stream when you play your games um the thing is, I don't have a capture card, so the only way I can stream games is playing on my PS4 with my um, my cam. But the the problem with it, with that is you can't change a lot of stuff. Like I can't change the thumbnail or anything if um, if I want to. Francisco, what do you think of Brit the British Anchor Marijuana? I love it. My state hates it. Um, Francisco, personally, I absolutely fucking hate it. I've never done it, but I just hate the smell. Um, I hate the people... The people I know who do it, um, who I like a lot, so my friends, but I've noticed a lot of their brains rotting. Like one one guy specifically, who's really smart. I, I hate being around him when he does it because he just turns into such an idiot. Oh my god, it's back! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's back! All right, it's gone. It's gone. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, lads. Um, but Francisco, um, most British people I know do it, um, and I'm totally for legalization. But the problem is that the tobacco and alcohol lobby is just too much control, like the politics in this country. But I feel like when Tory MPs get more involved with um, marijuana, I think it will be legalised. Instagram is a mini chat spot. I mean, like, you can give me a message if, if you fancy it.
Um, <laughs> you put out good content, you do it multiple times a week, you don't have to explain shit. Yeah, Spooky Kitty, that's fair enough, but at the same time, I have I have made it a, like a regular that I stream two times a week on top of the content, so... Um, Honestly, get it though, because it's like your job, but also shit happens, and that's okay. Yeah, Katie, to be honest, the streaming is, is like, in, in my head, I'm like, you must do three videos a week. Like, that's like non negotiable. But if I really don't fancy streaming, I won't do it. Um, if, like, nights like tonight, I, I didn't make myself, I'm quite tired, and like, I wouldn't have minded not doing it. Um, but at the same time, I had a good one on Tuesday, which made me want to do it tonight as well, so. Um, all right, the thing is gone. The bot is gone. Don't worry, lads. <laughs> um, let me stop being high for you. No, 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 look, I, I have, I have relatives who have medical problems who get, who take it. Um, I got not, most of my friends do it. Like, I got no problem. With it. There's, there's one guy, and there's a, there's an interesting subreddit called Leaves, and it's about people who are addicted to it and are getting off it. Which I think is really interesting because you don't really think of marijuana and addiction, but um, mostly, yeah, like it's fine. I, I don't judge people who do it. <laughs> I just don't personally like it. <laughs> um, I just hate the smell. Halo fan saying I was a stoner for three years. Feel so much sharper and responsive now that I've stopped. Yeah, that's what lots of people said. One guy said he's like, I think I've lost like ten years of my life because he said he used to do it so much. He does not remember the last 10 years. Like, he does, but it's like a haze, which is really interesting, to be honest. Um, Anesto, Anesto say, marijuana ruined my life. I hate that it's normalised. Yeah, um, Anesto, like, I don't mind it being normalised, but I get what you mean in the sense that, like, marijuana is often held up as something that is great and there's no downsides to it. That's why I feel like the culture is, is kind of bad, to be honest. Um... The rate which you release videos is insane, really, Cav, and they're all really well informed. That's really impressive. Thanks so much for saying that. I really appreciate it. Um, the thing is for me is that like it, the stress comes from my videos most of the time aren't like responses or news story stuff. Like I try and like think of something clever or like a take on something which makes it more like long lasting. Um, that stresses me the fuck out because I actually have to come up with lots of stuff. But um, I've been doing I've been doing okay to be honest. Um, I just work hard at it. Uh, it's the main thing, and luckily now I, because I quit my job last year, I, I have loads of time to do it. Um, I do get a, a bit annoyed at myself to be honest. Um, with my work because like um, on a Tuesday and a Thursday, like I stream and I have football and stuff. I just wish I could make the most of it. Like write a script for like a video essay, maybe write some of the the book I've I want to write more of and stuff. Uh, I'm trying not to be too hard on myself, though, because I, I, I do spend a lot of time doing videos. Um, Redman, I, I like Dark Souls 2 a lot. I've never really played the rest. Um, but credit to you for being a hardcore gamer. Like, I'm shit at Dark Souls, to be honest. I'm not even good at, like, Jedi Fallen Order, which is, like, an easy version of Dark Souls. Um... The hardest thing about fighting marijuana addiction is that people say it's not addictive, so you get no social support. Yeah, Ernesto, that's really interesting because, like, marijuana obviously isn't as addictive in terms of its, like, makeup, but the feeling is addictive, like, of anything, like, even food and stuff. Just because it's not got addictive stuff in it, like tobacco, doesn't mean it's not an addictive thing. Um, but, yeah, that does suck. Uh, so sorry that it's, it has such a negative experience, uh, impact on your life. Um... Only fans, please. Yeah, so soon, don't worry. Yeah, like, Katie, that, that was, like, totally legit as well. Um, I was thinking about trying to eat it when like, my neurological problems were really bad. Um, I never did, because some people were saying it might make you more anxious, so I didn't. Yeah, the Tigre saying they like edibles, and that's where I would have gone if, if I was going to do it. It's haram in my region. Yeah, it's weird, like, in places like Vietnam, it grows wild, which is crazy. I smoke occasionally for sleep, for relax, and anxiety. Yeah, like, to be honest, I, I respect that, like, marijuana's got a lot of medical benefits. I'm, I, you know, I know, I, like I said, I know family members who do it for, like, um, what does they have? Uh, some sort of physical ailment. I forgot what it was. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Katie, yeah, nine eleven is going to be mad, to be honest. Um, oh, here's a, here's a fun thing in the chat. How would Republicans act if nine eleven happened today? Who would they blame? Would it would um would they blame it on um would they blame it on the woke left? Let me know in the chat. Do you think Republicans would blame nine eleven on the woke left if it happens um on Saturday? Uh, Super Luigi and Davey, don't use the word lads in that way. You're implying uh, that you're assuming the sex of your audience. There should be a large discussion about how a lot of these European... Did you finish your comment? <laughs> I use I use lads like uh, as a bit of a joke. I don't actually mean it. I, I, to be honest, my, my live stream chat is probably way more diverse than my actual viewers. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's okay. MS, I think, is what my relative have. So yeah, like, yeah, he had he has to take steroid injections and um, and uh, d does a lot of medical marijuana as well. So to be honest, I don't think there's anything being wrong sometimes of being like a bit dependent on stuff like coffee, for example. I think a lot of people are, but um, so marijuana is the same in my in my opinion. Right, I'm so paranoid about the chat being bombarded by that bot. Yeah, little fox, um, the feeling of escaping from a shitty campus existence is very addictive. I mean, I, I, I think in general, the UK's binge drinking culture is so bad because we live in this like capitalist hellhole. Um, because in the UK, people obviously drink all the time, but like binge drinking is massive here. Um, just getting as fucked up as possible as quick as possible on like a Friday night and although people wouldn't say it's because of capitalism I do think a lot of our problems in this country are because of it edibles are not for me yeah, I've never ever going to try them so unless I, unless I have loads of physical problems that I could probably do uh, with eating them my name is in reference to invading dark souls I mostly um, oh is it is red man bat are you meant to be like rad brad is it a reference to that? Are you skeptical viewers like you you've got them? Yes, if you like doing it, don't force it, but like if you enjoy it, then for sure. <laughs> Gero, sorry, you probably missed most of it to be honest. Most of the stream. Uh okay, everyone agreeing with me, they would blame the woke conservatives and T for the nine eleven. The Islamo Marxists did it. They'd blame communism, AOC, and Bernie Sanders. Um, they'd blame China. Yep. Uh, and they're saying they'll say the left hates America, just like they did after 9 11. If you're against war, they said you hate America. Um, hi, lonely banter. Um, Okay, so Red Man Bad saying use it for medical um, purposes. I'm currently on my ninth day of any sugar. Damn, that's so that's so long. To be honest, the only thing I've done like that, I quit caffeine for two months um, before I quit my job because I thought it was making my neurological problems worse. To be honest, the only thing I was making it worse was the stress from the job. So, um, <laughs> um, okay, saying I've been dependent on ADHD meds for my whole adult life, but have to take it because my ADHD is so severe. No interest in people judging me for using drugs to feel normal. Yeah, like, to be honest, um, I don't judge anyone, really. But, like, meds for, like, ADHD? I don't, like, I don't know who... I, shitty people, probably. But I don't know who would be judge, judging you for that. Like, if you if you can take something to, like, make you feel way better, and, like, you're not taking it to the extent, like, especially of medicine that is, you know, overdoing it, then I don't know why anyone would have a problem with that. Yeah, little fox. When I used to have to, when I used to buy vitamins, thinking it would help, like the amount I spent on like vitamin supplements, I'm like, fuck, I, I have to buy this every month. Um, but yeah, especially in America, where drug prices are absolutely out of control. Oh, okay, your references to invaders and dark souls being a solid red and host being. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I get it because I, I have been invaded before. They'd simp for ISIS K, all the Taliban. They already simp for the Taliban, so.
Edibles have been my go-to medication for my undiagnosed ADHD since I had regular access to them. Yeah, like there is a lot of good properties, like people with seizures, people with like um, Parkinson's, I think is another one, but um, marijuana really helps. ADHD meds may be dependent on amphetamines. They definitely have helped, but I do think psychiatrists do. Over well, in America, over prescription of like drugs that you don't need like opioids obviously fueled the opioid crisis so it's actually crazy that um people in america are financially incentivized to prescribe drugs which is just a crazy system um atheist man i saying i drank almost a gram of caffeine a day in order to stay awake for the night when clearing the lot i couldn't go to sleep i cut down on that now and i take about 300 oh shit <laughs> Atheist Mando, that is so much. How much is um in a can of Monster or energy drink? Is it like three hundred? How how did your insides feel? Like, I mean, your your chest and your heart and stuff. I thought Boondocks was that um film with uh what's his name from Death Stranding? Norman Reedus. Uh, Vivance is three hundred dollars a month when I turn twenty six. Luckily, I have insurance through the ACA. Thanks, o thanks Obama. <laughs> but yeah, that, that that's crazy. Like, um, in Scotland, they they you get prescriptions for free. In England, you've got to pay for them, but they're subsidised, which is good. Man, America is such a shithole country. Like for health care, it's just so bad. I, I literally, I cannot imagine why anyone from Europe would move to America. Like, if you know what it's like to have universal healthcare, why would you move to America? It's so crazy. It's, it's health stuff's gonna affect you one one day sooner or later. Yeah, Saeed, um, thanks for the suggestion. I keep that in mind. Uh, my neurological problems have significantly gone down uh, since I quit my job. To be honest, I think it was stress, but at the same time. Um, yeah, I keep that in mind because I, st I still get some issues, to be honest. I hate SJWs. <laughs> they don't exist. Oh, sharky. Disgusting. Um, yeah, because... Unlike the UK, the US really doesn't have any anything to regulate drug prices, which is crazy. You like freedom, right, Kev? <laughs> yeah, come to America. <laughs> freedom to die from not affording the hospital bill. <laughs> Hassan said, it's a fake country, it's not real, it's just a bunch of corporate interests. Yeah, that's not a bad definition. Also, um, third world country in a Gucci belt is a funny description I've heard of America as well. I always ask clients from Europe, Europe and they're like, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would never fucking move to America. For a lot of reasons, but the healthcare is, is uh, one thing, especially. Sorry about your friend, Francisco, but yeah, the opioid crisis is so brutal, especially now that fentanyl is, is really ramping up as well, fentanyl addiction. Freedom to saddle your kids in medical debt. Yeah, I was talking to my brother about that yesterday. Like, I, I saw someone who, who I think Rye, Rye was in the chat on Tuesday who said uh, he had a family member die and then he had 45k of medical debt to pay for a dead family member. Like, how fucking insane is that? <laughs> if you're like America, why don't you leave it, Cav? Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I'm never coming. US, five companies in a trench coat. That's a good one as well. Captain's the best. Stop hating America. <laughs> it's basically the, the logic of most uh, conservatives. Um... All right. Oh, so my back is hurting now. Just been a long day. All right, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna end it. Um, death is marketable. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, I don't even know how you can charge for someone's death. Like on the family, it's so crazy. Um, but anyway, I think I'll leave it there. Um, thanks so much to Atheist Mando, Katie, uh, La Tigre. Let's try and remember everyone who gave me super chats. Um, La Tigre, shit, Blake. There's one more. Danosaurus. Um, 
Sorry if I forgot someone. <laughs> That's all I can think of right now. But thanks so much for Super Chat. Super nice of you uh, all. Um, 9-11 video tomorrow. So please be excited for that. I'm going to talk about the Hassan Pika not America Deserved It video. Um, then I'm going to talk about my opinion of 9-11, the legacy of 9-11, how disruptive it's, it's been on the world, everything like that. Um, yeah, little folks, don't ever worry about doing a super chat. If people want to do it, that's really nice and never, ever feel pressure to. And, and I'll always read the comments anyway. So um, I hope Hassan reacts to the bit. I don't think he'll watch it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, been fun streaming. I had really good streams this week, uh, Tuesday and today. I had, had a lot of good conversations. And I'm not even talking about anything specific as well, which is always fun. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the video tomorrow. And again, thank you so much for the nice comments and the nice super chats. Uh, you guys are awesome. Um, and yeah, appreciated the conversation. I, I, I actually genuinely, I don't always like streaming or like feel like it's a, a good use of my time, but like it is really enjoyable sometimes. So I've had a I had some good streams this uh, week. Anyway, everyone, um, thanks so much. Let's hope that spam bot um, never comes back. <laughs> And yeah, like I said, if you ever want to talk about something uh, or message me something, uh, Discord or Instagram, read most of them. I'm pretty much guaranteed to reply, so don't worry about like don't feel don't feel like an idiot for messaging me and I don't reply straight away. I will get around to it. Um, Cafe is always fun. Yeah, I appreciate everyone. So um, again, look out for the video tomorrow, and I will see you next Tuesday, hopefully, for another stream. So see you guys.